All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be covering Multivac MTV. Um, we're going to do a, a kind of just update around chart pattern movements, uh, some chart analysis, some price predictions, and then at the end we'll cover some uh, recent news about MTV. Um, so we're going to dive right in, but just before we do so, I just wanted to mention again, my chart pattern guide is out uh, free for all subscribers. So if you do choose to subscribe today, uh, make sure to drop your email in the form in the description below, and I'll shoot this over to you for free. Um, and now let's get right into the video. <clears throat> so just kind of reviewing how we got to where we are. Um, starting, you know, last week of October, we saw this with plenty of other uh, projects. Um, you know, we saw this kind of 40 to, you know, 45% slide, um, you know, down to kind of where we are uh, today. Um, and across most projects, I would say this is a healthy uh, correction. Um, you can see pretty clearly, and we've seen this, you know, in other projects we've covered like Veracity and Trias, uh, we bounced really, really cleanly uh, off the 0.236 FIB level. Um, we came back to check that after, you know, basically a month of having this kind of downward trend uh, appear. So it's kind of in a way for a long-term price outlook, putting in um, some critical support levels when we eventually need to have that uh, as our support uh, in the future. But to kind of get a little bit more granular to see what's been happening most recently, I wanna point out what we saw um, just last week. So we saw this kind of inverse head and shoulders form. So uh, you could call this the shoulder, head, um, and then the other shoulder right here. Um, and typically that's a bullish pattern. And what we saw uh, basically after that formed from that bottom uh, part of the head up to the next high, we saw about a 42 to 43% uh, gain. Now, I, I wanna note that this is basically replicating again uh, right here in the last week or so. We see uh, head, or sorry, shoulder, head, shoulder, um, and typically that is a bullish uh, pattern like we saw before. Now, since we have hit this kind of uh, bottom level uh, on our most recent downside movement, we have rebounded about, you know, 15 to 20%. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised in the next coming weeks if we see, you know, a pretty easy gain. So, so kind of like we saw here, right? We came up, we saw this big green candle kind of hovered a little, then we shot up again. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Multivac do that again and then see that kind of aggressive resistance at the downward trend line and then again here uh, at this uh, FIB around 2.2 cents. Um, but I think, you know, another, you know, 15 to 20% uh, is baked into what we're seeing right now. Um, obviously, really the battle that's going on uh, right now is at this 0.236 FIB level. Um, that's at about uh, 1.9 cents, uh, just about. Um, and so if we're able to kind of hold this, um, that would then print the inverse head and shoulders that I talked about and would likely lead to an upside movement. If we dip down below um, this FIB level pretty convincingly again, so a couple four hour candles, maybe a daily. If we dip down below this, then we're really just gonna look for uh, play for consolidation because you, you know we're not convincingly standing above that FIB. So if we don't stand above this in the coming weeks, um, I, I would look for just kind of horizontal play um, between these two fib lines. So between uh, 2.2 cents uh, and 1.9 cents ish. So you can see, you know, we start playing between those right here. Um, if you can make that out right in this area. So I would assume that we uh, would keep going sideways if we can't convincingly hold above this fib level uh, like we did here. As you can see, we. Once we broke above this, we never kind of broke below. We wicked below that FIB, but we never broke convincingly below. And we need to do the same thing here before we break to the upside. But once we break to the, to the upside, um, the next key level is gonna be 2.2 cents. Um, and then after that, 2.5-ish cents. And then obviously kind of the big level everyone is watching is this uh, you know, previous run up high of about uh, 0.3, or sorry, 3 cents. Um, and that's going to be kind of a, a key level that we're watching um, if we shoot back to that to that upside. Um, another thing I, I want to note here uh, that's going on with the chart, specifically with the moving averages. Um, so if you note right here, you can see that the 50 day and the 100 day are kind of battling and they've been battling today uh, for quite a bit. And why I point that out is because 
The last time we saw the 50 day break convincingly above the 100 day, which is right here, we did see one more low get put in. But after that, we saw this massive parabolic run up. And so part of kind of my thinking is we need to see that 50 day break convincingly above again. Um, I mean, let's just take a quick look at this. You know, that was an 80% rise, um, you know, 80% from our current level, you know, interestingly enough, would essentially put us up near um, this next Fib level in between these two. So that is somewhere that we're looking uh, to in the kind of medium short term. Uh, so obviously, if a, a lot of, uh, you know, what we just talked about goes right, we'd sit on top of this Fib, inverse head and shoulders gets printed, we look to the upside. Um, if we then stand on a few of these Fibs and we have the uh, 50 day stay above the 100 day and then also break above the 200 day. Um, so that would be right here in this chart. So first we had the break above the 100, then we had the break above the 200. Um, if we see that convincingly happen, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we break, few, uh, break through a couple of these Fibs a little easier and then shoot past uh, this previous high of about three cents and then look for um, you know, something between three cents and three and a half cents. So short, short term, just to review here really, really fast, we're looking for 2.2 cents. Um, and of course we wanna sit on this FIB at 1.9 cents. Um, but if we do that, ultimately once we break above um, our previous high of three cents, we wanna be playing within the next few weeks to a month, playing between um, three cents and three and a half cents. If we can do that, we're set up for um, some nice gains into the future. And just to touch briefly on, um, so now since we've covered some of the short-term movement, short-term action, I just wanna kind of uh, rehash the uh, conversation about long-term direction. So I like to review this every time we talk about a project. Um, obviously you guys have heard my predictions on MTV before, um, but just wanna hash it out again. So. If we see the same uh, parabolic run up that we saw uh, earlier uh, last year, or sorry, this year, um, we would be looking at, uh, so this, this uh, movement exactly right here. If we saw that same <clears throat> trajectory, same movement um, from our current level, and we took the, the same um, you know, multiplier, uh, we would be seeing something between you know, 20 cents and 30 cents. Now, this is just based on TA and you guys, if you subscribe to my channel, you hear me say this a lot. Um, this is just based on what we're seeing with the charts, right? Obviously, if, you know, listings on Binance come through, um, if the main app, you know, turns out to be super successful, the DAP uh, ecosystem grows a ton, a lot faster than expected. Um, obviously, a lot of things can change and this can pump faster. But in terms of TA, I, I think long term, we got to think, you know, more conservatively. And right now I'm looking at 20 cents to 30 cents for end of cycle for multivac. Um, obviously it can go higher. I know a lot of people in the comments will be talking about that, but we just need to see a little bit more strength, um, both fundamentally. Um, and then also we need to see, uh, ourselves stand on this fib level and then kind of see where we end up in the next few weeks. Um, but I will keep updating you guys on this right now, 20 cents to 30 cents end of cycle. Um, and then short term within the next, uh, month or so, we want to see something between three cents and three and a half cents. Um, that is based off of, like I said, the last time we crossed, uh, above the 100 day and 200 day with that 50 day moving average. Um, and then also if we print that inverse head and shoulders, uh, that should get us battling uh, this key fib level uh, in the next week or so of about 2.2 cents. So that's kind of what I'm seeing uh, on the multivac side. This is just kind of a, a brief update. Try to cover this project as much as I can and keep you guys as updated as possible. Um, but now I just kind of want to touch on a few uh, news tidbits as well for Multivac. So first of all, I, I just want to kind of recenter ourselves on, on how important the technology is. Uh, so first of all, look at the difference in uh, market cap for, for this project, right? I mean, it's a little bit higher now. It's just above 100 million. Um, but compared to a lot of these other layer one protocols, um, you know, th this is really, really special. and It's very, very early, right? And, you know, you look at the transactions per second, you know, double the, the next competitor, Elrond. Um, and then you look at just the minimal cost, right? So when you talk about scalability um, and more and more projects moving over in Multivac, the actual pain of switching and the cost of switching would actually be a little bit uh, less than many would assume with some of these other projects. So just wanted to highlight that again. I think it's very, very cool to see this technology 
lined up against others and just to see how it plays out um, in terms of technical specs. And an another really, really important news tidbit that just came out on the 29th uh, was that their MRC20 token has just uh, been released so that they can be deploying smart contracts for uh, devs and devs can be deploying smart contracts to build on the MTV uh, blockchain and mainnet. So that's huge, right? I mean, this is kind of the beginning of the multivec ecosystem, the beginning of devs being able to get a chance to really, really build on this blockchain. And along those lines, they also released, released their dev, do, dev docs just about a week ago. Um, this gives all the instructions that developers would need to begin building on multivac and to be bringing their dApps to the ecosystem. The other thing I wanted to note too, is that it seems like multivac just from a community standpoint has been doing an incredible job. So they're really, really focused on supporting their um, future developers and people who want to build on multivac. And they're also going to start hosting hackathons, which is really, really cool just to build um, this kind of sense of camaraderie around the, the community um, and to help the developers into the future. Um, and they've also announced, announced a lot of interest in GameFi and uh, the gaming industry. So really, really cool to see where that takes us as well. And the last note, um, just wanted to say really, really impressive how fast they've grown their community um, and for how size of how small of a project they are. Um, you know, to have, you know, just around, you know, 100 million market cap and be this big of a community is pretty impressive. They gained a lot of respect uh, across the crypto community for what they're doing with the flexible uh, sharding. So I'm really excited for this project overall. Like I said, you know, this is a project we cover a lot on this channel. Love to give you guys updates. And it's something I'm holding long term. You know, I think it really can change the future of blockchain. And, um, you know, I'm holding and staking and, and really I'm just looking forward to uh, covering this project more and more into the future for you guys. Uh, that's all I have for today, but let me know what other projects you'd like me to cover. Um, have a lot on my list, but just let me know what else you'd like me to add um, and I'll get it added and we'll cover it in a upcoming video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.